her world is not in her My channel hello if you're new my name's Kayla today we're gonna do a haul I don't know if I have a haul on this channel if I have done one then it's been a very long time but I wanted to film this video just to kind of switch things up on my channel you may have seen a lot of this stuff scattered throughout my vlogs because I usually film it when I receive stuff in the mail but I kind of just wanted to compile everything together. First, we'll start off with something I got from Gymshark. So they released their Ombre Seamless Collection and I am in love. I was in love with all the colorways. Ultimately, I chose to get the peach set and I actually got the bottoms as well. But I ended up returning the bottoms because they were a little bit loose and they were so sheer. I watched so many videos and everyone was saying that it wasn't sheer, but I could literally see my entire underwear without even squatting or anything. So, unfortunately, that colorway didn't work out. I might try a darker color. The next thing I got, you guys saw in one of my recent vlogs, and it is just from Forever 21. And it is this super cute banana yellow dress. I think I really just loved the corset looking top. This dress is so cute, it was like 20 bucks, so I definitely go try it out. Next up, I also raved about this when I got it in one of my vlogs. She is just gorgeous. Oh my lord, I love this thing. So this is a teddy coat from I Am Gia. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it, but I'm going to be trying to revamp my style and my wardrobe for school mostly. I want to start dressing up for school a little bit more just because I think that will give me a better presence in classes and stuff. And I just thought this was so cute. I've seen so many models on Instagram wearing it. It's so warm. This will be perfect for up north. Moving on, I got a couple things from Brandy Melville while I was in Hawaii a couple weeks ago. The first thing I got is this white cropped top and it says Maui on it. This is my favorite Hawaiian island, so I felt like I had to get this. It's really cute. I'm a little bit concerned because it's white and me and white aren't really the bestest of friends, but I'm going to do my best to keep this clean. It's so cute and very comfortable. Also from Brandy, I picked up these sweats. I was not even planning to buy sweats. I never really even try sweats on in stores, but I had to pick these up because they fit me so nicely. They're not too long. A lot of leggings are very long on me because I'm about 5'1". And these fit me so good. They're kind of high-waisted. They're really soft. They feel like good quality. These were $35, so that's a little bit more expensive than I usually spend on sweatpants, but I thought they were so worth it. Next up, I picked up this shirt at the Oahu swap meet that I went to when I was in Hawaii. It's really cute. It just says Waikiki Beach Athletic Department. I just thought this would be really cute with leggings and just kind of a chill beach vibe. Or if I'm going to the beach, I'll wear this as my cover-up shirt. So, I actually placed my first order from Fashion Nova a couple weeks ago. And I've never ordered from there before, so I wanted to see like how their clothes were. I only ordered one thing, which is a set. It comes with like a bralette and the bottoms. I don't remember what this set is called, but they only have a couple sets on their website, so it shouldn't be hard to find it. But this is the top. It's kind of like a sports bra looking top. The material is really good quality. It's thick, which I like, and it feels sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap. These are just biker shorts, and yeah, I'm basic and joined the biker short gang. They're so cute. My mom was trying to roast me when I was wearing them in Hawaii, but I think they're cute and I like them. I like that they're longer. It's like a cute, long short. I don't know, but I love the quality on these. They are a little bit looser around the waist, I believe, but I don't like 
being suffocated so I went for a small as opposed to an extra small. Now we can move on to some bathing suits. So before I went to Hawaii I wanted to get a new bathing suit but your girl was on a budget. I saw this really cute bathing suit at Forever 21 and it was also really affordable. It was two pieces for $16 I think. So here are the matching bottoms and I'm pretty sure these are still in store. I saw them the other day. Last new bathing suit piece I got is from San Lorenzo and I picked this up while I was in Hawaii. Here it is. It was on sale and I think it's so cute. It fits me really nicely. The material is so soft. I love San Lorenzo material. It's really cute. I don't know if you can see it. It's got like a floral pattern on it. And it's also reversible, so if you want to wear it on the peach side. And the back is just a crisscross. I almost forgot, I actually have one more bathing suit set to show you that I bought last weekend. This was on sale, so that's good. It was a really good deal, I could not pass it up. It's a set from Billabong, and I don't have any black sets, so I liked that this was black. The material is very soft and comfortable, and I love how skinny the straps are. I feel like this will be perfect for tanning. And then I picked up the matching bottoms that are also very good for tanning, and I just love how comfortable it is. This set was 2 for 20 so it was $20 for the whole set. The top is normally $40, and the bottoms are normally, I don't know, it doesn't say. I don't know what happened to the tag, but probably $30 or $40 bucks as well. But I got them both for $20. Moving on to shoes, I got three new pairs of shoes that I'm very excited about. The first set, I am so thankful to have found. Let me tell you why. I saw this exact pair from Steve Madden and I was debating buying them for at least a month. I went to Steve Madden multiple times, trying them on every time. I just could not get myself to spend $80 on them. But I was really thinking about them so I was thinking I would save up for them and just wait a little bit longer till I bought them. So these are the exact same style as the ones from Steve Madden. Like, I'm pretty sure they're the exact same. These are just a different brand, which is ridiculous. So these are just from Soda, and I bought it at a random shoe store at the mall. I've, I've tried these shoes on three times at Steve Madden, and they're the exact same. But these were $27 compared to $80. What? I got them immediately when I saw them. They're just so cute. They're espadrilles and I really wanted a cute pair of sandals because I don't have any. I either wear tennis shoes or I wear my rainbows or my Birkenstocks. I don't have a cute pair of sandals so I really really love these. Next pair of shoes is not everyone's cup of tea. I totally get that but I love them and a lot of my hula sisters wear them. So I had to join the club. Some plastic slippers that look like they could be leather, but they're plastic. You know, they were five bucks at the swap meet and I think they're very cute. They're also comfortable, so. Last pair of shoes, I honestly cannot believe that I found, so I had to get them. They are from Nike. So here they are. They look a little bit crazy right now. These are Nike Air Force Ones and it's a velvet material. I saw these in a yellow velvet and I was in love because I love yellow. But then I saw these and they were on sale and I decided to pick them up. They're a little bit big on me because they're not my correct size. But I thought I would compromise because they were such a good deal. I could not pass them up. Nike Air Forces are like 80 or 90 dollars usually. 2197. 2197. You see that? But they had an additional 30% off. 
So after tax, these babies came out to $16.56. Let me show you that. That number right there. Can you see it? Hopefully. Yeah, right there. What? All right, we are almost done. I'm just gonna go over a few random pieces I got. I picked up this really cute bag while I was in Hawaii. It's from La Sports Sack, and this is a design that's exclusive for Hawaii, so I really wanted to get it. I love the plumeria, the hibiscus, the waves. It's just so cute. I also picked up these sunglasses from Forever 21 the other day because they were on sale. I thought this would be good for days where I feel bougie and I don't want to talk to anyone. Last things to haul is some makeup. So you guys saw this in my vlog if you watched it. I got some stuff from Kylie Cosmetics. I got three things because they had a buy one, get one free sale on their lip kits. The first one I got is in Harmony. It's a velvet liquid lipstick. It's very cute, like, mauve pink, rosy pink maybe. I also really wanted to try this color, Junebug. Oh my goodness. It's a very, very obnoxious and out there color. But it looks so good on people that wear it on Instagram. I thought maybe I'd try to pull it off too. We'll see about that. And lastly, to get free shipping, I thought I would try one of her lipsticks and this is in the shade crush and let me tell you i wore this to a wedding a couple weeks ago and it did not come off for hours it was so long lasting so buttery it almost looked like a lip gloss it's very shiny but it was amazing the last thing to end this haul i got yesterday in the mail This is the Babe in Paradise Highlighting Palette by Morphe and Bretman Brock. I have been eyeing this thing since it came out, but I was like, no, you do not need any more highlighters. And eventually I was like, who am I kidding? I do. So here we are. I bought the highlighting palette. I think Mahu and Chihu are my favorite shades. Let me try to give you a swatch, I guess. I'll do Chihu. It's a pinky color. It's like a rose pink. Can you see that? Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look. How blinding is that? Let's try one more. For good measure, I'm going to go in with Mahu, my second favorite right here. It's a very, very nice gold, which I like. It's right there. See, these are like not too out there if you're not that type of person, but they make you glow. Okay, that's gonna conclude this haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so I know to do more. Comment down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!